Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers The Last Night uh, Deluxe Class Premier Edition Slash. As you can see, his Ultra Mode is a um, a Velociraptor. He, he's a direct repaint from his Age of Extinction self and all in all, looks pretty good. Of course, this is what he looked like in Age of Extinction. Because it's this what should have been an Age of Extinction. Instead, we got a multicolored version of him. Um, again, we don't know what his role will be in the film, or if he's going to appear at all. Um, or heck, uh, we don't know if he survived the events in between Age of Extinction and last night. Um, all in all, uh, this mode looks pretty good. Articulation-wise, pertains to the same. Um, still same arm articulation. <laughs> leg articulation is the same, although this leg here is a little looser than this one on my copy of the figure at least. Um, and yeah, that's really it for articulation. So primary colors we'll see for, um, for a slash blue, gray, silver, red, and that's really it. Um, yeah, Grimlots was like a brown, black, silver, uh, baby blue for the eyes, or all spark blue I should say, and yeah, red, that was it. So yeah, all in all, slash here, not bad, paint wise is good, and the alter mode, the Velociraptor mode looks pretty good, looks pretty awesome. He does come with the same accessories as his Age of Extinction self with the the axes that are hidden in the arms, so all in all, they're, they're pretty good, they're just, they're just, they're, they're the same, so. Yeah, anyways, so the transformation to robot mode is exactly the same as before with his Age of Extinction counterpart. So once again, uh, we're not going to go too much detail into the transformation, so, uh, but if you want to take a look at his, my review of his Age of Extinction counterpart, by all means, go take a look at it, so, um, yeah, so all in all, I mean, like I said, and this, actually, out of all the Dinobot transformations, his is kind of specific and pretty tedious to follow so yeah just uh, be mindful of what you're gonna be running yourself into um, like I said it it's kind of it's it's kind of it edgy but you know once once you get it figured out like it's it's very rewarding so uh, let's get the arms to yeah, rotate this, rotate that, the arms pieces taken care of, the legs figured out, and I get the hands rotated around and rotate the, the paws around, not the paws, the, the claws, so them rotate it like this, uh, yeah, rotate like that. Uh, yeah, like that. There we go like that. Uh, oh, it's the it's the wrong way. Uh, hmm. Okay. Got that figured out. Oh, they go in. Yeah, that's how it goes. It goes in the other way. There we go. Flipped it the wrong way. Huh, my bad. Anyhow, got that situated, and then flip the dinosaur th dinosaur legs around like this. Flip up the. He doesn't really have any heel spurs. He just has the back halves of his dino head. Uh, flip the tail around, revealing his his robot head, and then flip back the these bits, and. So again, situated uh, if we can, because there you go. There you have slash in robot mode. All in all, it's very good um, and pretty interesting. Articulation wise, is the same as before with his Age of Extinction counterpart. So really, don't need to talk about it really too much. So yeah, um, so taking take a look at his head now. Um, his head, I mean, I mean, it does have the same work helmet look, medieval kind of thing. 
So maybe the Dinobots have a big factor, a bigger factor in this movie than in the Age of Extinction film. So, yeah. Weapon-wise, again, you can give him his, his axes, his dual axe weapons. Um that or I mean there's no real or, I mean yes you can actually store you can store these in robot mode so do that here so we'll just basically yeah put them on the in underside of the dino arms so let's do it like this and then do the other one like that so I mean it I mean it, it I mean all in all this the, the transformation of this uh, from was I mean <laughs> It's 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 interesting, but just try not to mess up uh, too too much on it, because you never know what you can get yourself into when it comes to getting these guys taken care of. And then, uh, hmm, that's not the way it's supposed to go. Uh, let's see if it works. Yeah, it goes on like that. So anyway, um, and, and the the only problem is the lack of heels for me. Ed for everyone else, well, mostly, I mean, oh, and loose ball joints, so, and this is a lot looser than it was on the, at least on my copy of, this, the Age of Extinction component of this had a bit of a tighter joint, so, anyway, all in all, well, I recommend getting Slash, personally, like I said, like I said with the Grimlock review, if you, if you do already have the Age of Extinction version, then don't, just, you, you can just skip this one easily. But if there's a newer one coming out in the not too distant future in this line, get it. If, uh, if you're a completist, get it. If you are looking for movie accuracy, then go ahead and get them. But like I said, you're going to experience the sim same or similar issues that you experience with the Age of Extinction version of this figure. Uh, but all in all, Slash is not too bad. I would recommend them if you can find them. So yes, this is my video review of the Transformers uh, The Last Night. Deluxe Class Premier Edition slash I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible with my next video, and yes. So take your soon, soon, have a great day, and I will catch you all later. Bye-bye.